Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been such a long time since I recorded my last video and I'm really sorry about that. I thought today I would share with you guys my house. So my house is on the mainland and if you don't know what the mainland is, it's the big part of Second Life that is owned by Linden Labs. So you've got lots of places that are owned by people like us, so they buy their sims or there is a big collection, a big cluster of sims that are all connected by the sea and they're also connected by the road. So my house is on the mainland and it's connected by this road, which means that if I want to, I could get my car out, I could drive up onto the road and I could drive all the way around this map. Now we know Second Life sim crossings are not great and you can crash so it's very difficult to go on long distance journeys. However, I feel like it is getting a little bit better and if you go through the sim crossings quite slowly, you'll get a good drive. So yeah, this has been a very long way of introducing the video. So let's get started. So like I say, this is the mainland. It's a very quiet sim. So none of these people have done anything to their property since I've been here, which is nearly nine months now. And I've also never seen anybody here. So it's a really quiet sim, which is quite typical for Second Life these days but that's also quite good because it means there's no lag, it means that there's no kind of horrible structures being built and stuff. As we walk across the drive, we've got our bins out because I like to make my houses as realistic as possible. So things like bins, mailboxes, toilets, all that sort of stuff I love to have in because I like making it as realistic as possible. So because it's Halloween this weekend, we've got pumpkins, we've got some Halloween banners, and I've made it quite autumnal, is that the word? Autumnal, autumnal, so I've got a nice orange rug down. I'm not gonna show you downstairs in detail because I haven't really, I haven't decorated downstairs. It hasn't been the main focus, but like I said, I like it to be realistic. So I have put in a quick kitchen with some champagne and a nice coffee machine. But yeah, that's a big work in progress. So that is to come. And then just through these doors, it takes us through three doors to get to our garage. So yeah, so we'll ignore the downstairs, that's a work in progress. As we come up the stairs, so it's a lovely open plan, very spacious, very bright. It just feels very real. And I know it's not real before people come, come at me for saying it seems real, but it does feel like you're looking at a 3D model of a real house, like you're decorating your dream house. It's not like The Sims where it looks a little bit cartoony. It looks real, which I love. So as you come up the stairs, we turn left, we get into our main living space. So I have a grand piano with some candles. I've got my guitar. We've got the fireplace, which does turn off and on. We've got some books. We've got my dog's bed, some more decorations. So because it's nearly Halloween, we've got our pumpkins, which is a boo. We've got my TV, which does work. So if you click it, you can go on YouTube and stuff and you can watch videos. Um, I've got my blankets. I've got my skeleton lamp. And then I've got the bloated clown and I've got a scary little girl. I called her Naomi because she looks like one of my friends. So if you ever see her, say, hey, Naomi. And then I've got my dining area. And there's my little doggy. And he's quite cool. So if I do like Hugo roll, he'll roll over. Hugo down. Yeah, so he's like really cute. I've had him. I've probably had him for like a year or two now and I just love him to bits. He just, he's so cute. If you want to know about these dogs, they're VKC pets. So if you just search VKC pets, that is how you can find them. They're really cool. They've got, yeah, there's so much you can do with them. I don't do half as much as I could, but yeah, they're really cool. This is the open plan living area. And then as you come through here, at the moment, I don't know what I'm doing with this room, but my dad's wedding is coming up in real life in two months time. And me and my brother are meant to be having a phone call about my dad's wedding speeches because we're both his best men and just kind of wedding plans and stuff like that. So I thought instead of doing a boring phone call, why don't I make this room into like a little wedding theme? So we've got balloons all over the wall. We've got a big balloon arch, we've got an, an easel, which, or an easel, which you can write on so you can make notes on. We've got a wedding dress, we've got some champagne, and we've got some bean bags. So I just thought, because we both do have a soft spot for this game, because we've played it since we were like 10 and 12. So we're gonna meet on here, we're just gonna sit on the bean bags and we're just gonna voice chat, which to some people might seem, oh, that's so sad. To other people, they probably think, that's actually such a good idea. So that is what I've done with this room for now. 
So as we come up to the right, we've got my bedroom. We've got a nice neon sign, we've got a tall drawers, we've got my lovely bed, which I kind of made this room into my dream bedroom in real life. So if you kind of look behind, you can kind of have a little, a little sneak peek of what my room does look like. But I'm really into like the white and pink. They're my favorite combinations of colors. So that's the theme that I've gone for in here. And then this is gonna be like a little walk-in wardrobe area. And then we've got the bathroom. So an LED mirror that turns, oops. So we've got my LED mirror that turns off and on or on and off. We've got my toilet with all of the toiletries. I've got all the little detail. I never used to do details like this, but we've got, you know, a bit of soap on there. We've got your washing supplies, we've got towels. We've got the bath, some anchors, because I found them and thought they looked cool. And a towel and a plant. So that is my bedroom. And then if we have a little walk back down the corridor. So this is my little office. Let's go back down to the living room. We'll sit on the couch and we'll have a quick chat. Yeah, let's have a sit down. Oh no, I've just took the sofa. Ah! Right, let me just get my sofa back out. If you didn't check out my last video and you want to learn some tips to make some money, I introduced a new money making game, which is called Crystal Craze on Second Life. So go and check that out if you're interested. And if you want to know some more, let me know because I do have some other ones. So one of them is Seven Seas Fishing. If you haven't heard of it, it is a kind of fishing contest where there are, there are many contests throughout the day which are led by people in the game. There would be prizes, sometimes there might be a pot of 300, sometimes 500, sometimes more, sometimes less. And yeah, you fish and if you come top one to five or one to three, you get a prize. So if you're interested or if you just want to know a little bit more, comment down below and I might make a video on it. If, you're, if you just want to go and check it out in advance, just search Seven Seas Fishing on Second Life or search on Google and there are lots of different tutorials that can tell you about that. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you just enjoyed looking around my house. Maybe you got some ideas. If you have any constructive criticism about what I could do, let me know. But don't strive for perfection. I strive for what I like and what I want to achieve. So at the minute I'm happy with it and then I'm gonna go around and just find bits and bobs to put into it. But it's not meant to be a show home. It's meant to be my home and my brother's home. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and comment anything you would like to see in the future. Make sure you give it a like, you subscribe. I noticed I have 24 subscribers and I think like 46 likes on my last video, which is absolutely insane because I posted one video and then I ghosted for maybe two months. So I'm really, really grateful. And if you've returned, thank you so much for coming back. And I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.